one of the exciting features at the Manchester show is the launch of a new product. Arnie, hi. Hi. Now, you're not the new product. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here on the Vagabond Rogue stand. Tell us a bit more about it, Arnie. You're, it's here from South Africa, isn't it? Launching in the UK. Tell us a bit more. Exactly, yeah. Thanks very much. Um, so, this is the first showing of the van, actually. I saw it a year ago on a show in South Africa. I was, I was, I was uh, home visiting uh, family and just fell in love with it and, and saw it as something that I would love to have for myself here in the UK. It is super lightweight. It's easy to stow and store. I mean, we don't have huge houses and drives here. It's 550 kilograms as it stands and can take another 200 kgs in terms of your luggage and your food, etc. So you can tote behind a really modest regular family car you don't need any huge um, off-road drive vehicles or anything of that nature easy to store easy to maneuver and beautifully fitted and equipped i, th I think you know really great for uh, what what you need in the uk for camping. now you said tow it this is a caravan isn't it for those listening uh, indeed it's a caravan yes 750 kilos is its gross weight it is braked even though it doesn't have to be but that means that it's an extra safety feature and you can also yeah. you know tow it behind a, a, a relatively light motor car which which i think you know for us in the uk i don't want to pay a huge amount of taxes on our cars no etc et that that that's a really appealing feature so this is built in durban in built south in africa durban, south africa um, and has been for a number of years exported to a number of different countries around the world including australia and the usa first time as i've said in the uk now and we're really excited to launch it and see what it does over here um, we have high hopes for it um, one of the things that really appealed to me about this unit is although it kind of at face value it looks quite small, it's super modular, modular and versatile, right? So you can just have a little sleeping pod or a place to keep you out of the weather on your fishing trip or you can really kit it out with some of the options that we have to have a really comfy week at the coast. Um, it's got a beautifully appointed kitchen. Um, with with everything you need and it comes as a standard package pretty much ready to put your food and clothes in hook up to your car and go so we've got this huge like, ballerina skirt awning haven't we wrapping around it yes the 27 270 awning which uh, obviously is necessary here yeah, keeps the keeps the weather off you and occasionally the sun hopefully as well <laughs> But uh, one of the key features of this awning is the ability to be able to kind of put a draft skirt around the top and bottom and then put walls either completely enclosed or partly enclosing it to really give you weather protection um, that, that, that you need if, if the occasion arises or just privacy for that matter. Um, there's the opportunity as well to put additional awnings out, you know, on the other side of the caravan, um, which a lot of people do. You know, yeah. just just because you can't really stand up in the unit itself, if uh, if you want a place just to change your your, your clothes or, or just have an, an area to sit in. And what so what does it come with then? What features does it come with when you buy one? Pretty much what you see here is 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 what the standard features are. So it's 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 the caravan with the queen size bed mattress, all the storage locker, USB ports, leisure battery. It it, it hooks up to 220, and runs off 12 volt. It comes with a pretty well-equipped kitchen, which includes a 60-litre water tank, um, pumped water to your little basin, a 55-litre fridge, which can also be set to freezing, um, lots of storage and, and, and stowage, um, and a two-plate cooker, and our neat little three-kilogram gas bottle that fits neatly into the side of the unit. And you were telling me there's an interesting feature about the bed as well. It doesn't just stay a bed. Yeah, it? yeah. So this, this, this bed is actually like a concertina mattress. So when you're setting out for your trip, you just fold it all up, put it against the side, which gives you a load of storage space for your tables, chairs, whatever else, your clothing, etc. But also it folds into a really comfortable sofa. So uh, you're able to sit in there, stretch your legs out, enjoy a whiskey or a coffee, read a book. <laughs> Watch, uh, watch a movie, you know, and, and, and when the weather's really warm, you open both of these really big doors, you get a beautiful through draft, or whether when the weather's a bit chilly, you just close up, open your little side windows, get a nice little draft through and sit and, and enjoy yourself. I love the really fact nice. there's a door on both sides. Yeah, that's a big feature because, you know, given its size, you, you could end up feeling a little bit kind of cramped in there, but it, it, it gives you tremendous versatility as, as, as well, particularly because you can put an awning out the other side so you yeah. can have 
access and ingress both sides. Yeah, you could create quite a spacious living area. Can't you, you really can. I mean, it punches so much above its weight in, yeah. in so many ways. So everything's got its place. I mean, we've been lifelong campers, right? So we've done it all, tents and caravans and motorhomes and all the rest of it. I'm in the mode now of just wanting life, you know, really simple but comfortable. So I sleep really well on a good bed at night, comfortable, toasty, close the doors, feel safe. The wind's not kind of battering the walls around me. And yet I've got all the kind of comforts of fridges and cookers and all easy, handy, a storage locker for everything. I don't, I, I'm not surrounded by boxes of bits and pieces and a thermos flask and a, you know, I'm, I'm, I've done all that. I'm, I'm sort of over it. So I love the fact that it's, that it's set up so that everything has a place. You literally have to put in your clothes, your food, and, and your drinks and hook it up and go. Your way, yeah. yeah. It does look very cool. So tell me, Arnie, how much is it? Um, the unit as it stands now, this 270 awning plus the plus the caravan and all the features I've just mentioned is £20,000 on the show. That's brilliant. Well, the teardrop market in the UK has become very popular, particularly for yeah. those who can only tow up to 750 kilograms, which is a lot of us. Exactly. So I think you'll do really, really well. And of course, there's a load of optional upgrades available as well, solo and so on, isn't there? Plenty, plenty of accessories and the ability to, 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 to add on. A lot of people put a rooftop tent on, for example. Oh, so wow. if, you've got, if you've got kids and, and need extra, extra space, it comfortably carries that. Or you could put a load box on if you've got extra kit to carry. You can put your kayaks on, your surfboards. You can put a tow hitch on the back and stick your bicycle rack on. Um, you know, or tow your motorcycle for that matter because it's a light unit. You can tow a little bit extra if you want that kind of rig. So that's what I say. The versatility is just incredible. You can have it as a simple sleeping pod or you can go and spend a week's holiday at your favorite kind of spot and really be comfy and, and be properly set up. You're tempting me now. So Come where on. can people find out more about Vagabond? So our website, um, vagabondcaravans.co.uk. Uh, We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Arnie, thank you ever so much. Good luck with the show. Lovely. Thank you so much. Have a great really launch. appreciate it.